all right welcome back let us do question number 34 okay in number 34 we are going to find the number of terms given to you there is a last term in a GP okay so the GP is 2 uh, negative 2 4 followed by negative 8 negative 16 and so forth until 1024 so you gotta find n now the number of terms if the last term is 1024 so uh, same thing as what you did in AP TN is equals to 1024 TN is uh, a is negative 2 and R is 4 divided by negative 2 that's a negative 2 yeah and minus 1 is equals to 1, 0, 2, 4. Right, so now what are you going to do here? Okay, uh, you have you can shift over your negative 2 first. Uh, you cannot do this, yeah, students. You cannot do negative 2 times negative 2 because there's a power and minus 1 here. Please remember your indices. So you have to leave this as it is and move the negative 2 over. So power and minus 1 remains. 1024 divided by negative 2 is negative 512. Okay, since there are both negative and negative, you can basically ignore them. And uh, negative 2 and minus 1, this should be a negative 2 to the power of uh, 9, if you test your calculator. So when the base is equal, this is indices, yeah? When the base are equal, the indices would also equal. So n minus 1 is equal to 9, n is equal to 10. So there are 10 terms here, all right? Okay, that's number 34. Uh, let's go to 35, yeah? 35 is similar. 35 says, which term of GP is 9 over 32? So if you notice, 34 and 35 is actually asking the same thing. You just have to know how they ask the question. Alright, uh, <coughs> the GP is 18, 9, um, 4 and a half, and so forth until 9 over 32 that's what it means yeah so 9 over 32 is which term basically it's the same as this how many terms are there here until 9 over 32 that will be the term 9 over 32 so 1024 is the 10th term so there are 10 terms inside here yeah it has the same meaning yeah so you're looking for tn right so tn is equals to 9 over 32 so tn is a which is 18 r is half yeah 9 over 18 okay that's half n minus 1 is equals to 9 over 32 okay now shift the 18 over the tactic basically is the same so 1 over 2 so 9 over 32 divided by 18 that's 1 over 64 and it's fairly easy sometimes you are not able to make the base the same then you will have to lock 10 both sides <laughs> we'll get to that question, yeah, when we reach there, don't worry. So, um, 1 over 2 power 64 is uh, power 6. Alright, uh, then, when the bases are equal, which is half and half, um, n minus 1 is equal to 6. Now, if you're not clear, 1 over 64, um, you can try, just use your calculator, 1 over 2 power 5, power 6, you know, then you get 1 over 64, so you know it, it is power 6. So, n is 7. Alright, so that means 9 over 32 is the 7th term in this geometric progression. Yep, pretty simple, right? Okay, uh, 36. Let's look at 36. Which is the first term of GP3612 to exceed 300? Now, this question is pretty common and actually a lot of students do not know how to do this. Okay, there's a GP and uh, it says that this GP is getting bigger and bigger, right? So you're looking for the first term that exceeds 300. That means this, this GP will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually, one of the term, one of the term will be bigger than 300, right? We want to know which term is that. Yeah, so it could be <clears throat> it could be the 50th term. It could be the 70th term. It could be the, uh, 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 you know, 30th term. We don't know. Okay, so you are actually looking for Tn that is bigger than 300. <clears throat> okay, so Tn is bigger than 300 in this case because it says exceed, it's not 300. So the concept is the same as the previous question. You know, which term is 1024? 
yeah in the previous question here which term the nth term the tenth term is 1024 the seventh term is 9 over 32 in this case they want to you they want to know which term will be bigger than 300 so tn is bigger than 300 then you do the same thing a r is 2 n minus 1 is bigger than 300 so in this case you will get an answer with decimal Right in the previous case, you cannot get an answer with decimal. Why? Because n is number of terms. You cannot have the seven and a half term. There's no such thing as the seven and a half term. There are seven terms. That's it. Okay. So it. But but but. Uh, in in this case, you can have a decimal because it's bigger than. You're supposed to round it up. So let's let's go through and look at it. Yeah. Um. That's a hundred. Okay, 300 divided by 3. So now your problem is this. Uh, you cannot find the base of uh, 100 to turn into a base 2. Yeah, it's not it's not 2 times 50. Yeah? <laughs> 100 is not, uh, there's, there's no base 2. So what do you do? You lock 10 on both sides. Alright, so uh, let's let's do a lock 10 on both sides. Add a lock 10 here and a little lock 10 there. So then you will have, uh, that's n minus 1 times log 10 to that's bigger than log 10 100 right so what's log 10 100 log 10 100 is a 2 right so n minus 1 should be good that should be bigger than this is a 2 if you don't know just press your calculator that's log 10 2 so n minus 1 is bigger than 6.64 Alright, so 6.64, so n is bigger than 7.64. So now when you get a decimal, it's perfectly alright because they say this is not n anyway. n has to be bigger than 7.64, so therefore n would be the nearest integer that is bigger than 7.64 is 8. Please don't go and write 9 or 10, doesn't make sense. Yeah, The nearest integer to n that is bigger than 7.64 is 8. So that means, that means... Okay, the first term in this GP that exceeds 300 would be the 8th term. Okay, you don't know the value yet, but that you know the 8th term will be more than 300. Could be 301, could be 302, you do not know. Okay, so this is the term. Now, sometimes they will ask you to find the value of this term. You know, they will ask you to find the value of the term that exceeds 300. Then you go to do T8. Okay, now that you found an 8. Now, in this case, the question did not ask for it, so that is fine. All right. Okay, let's look at question 37 because 37 is also similar. Okay, question 37, I'm going to write it over here. Question number 37 says, which is the first term of GP8? There is a GP8, 4, and 2, and so forth. And you're looking for the term that is less than 1 over 100. So therefore, again, you're looking for Tn, which is less than 1 over 100. Okay, so same thing, A, R is half, N minus 1 is less than 1 over 100. So 1 over 2, N minus 1 is less than, you do the same thing, shift the 8 over, yeah, for inequality you do the same thing. So um, 1 over 100 divided by 8 is 1 over 800. Okay, so again, 800, you cannot make it into base 2, yeah? So what do you do? You add a log 10 to both sides. Because you need to bring the n down, alright? So after you've added a log 10, then uh, there will be n minus 1 according to logarithm, yeah? If, if you're not sure of your logarithm, then please go back and view the videos on logarithm. Okay, so n minus 1, uh, log 10 half. Is, big, is less than log 10, 1 over 800. Okay, so you're looking for n, yeah? So this, multiply with this, right? So you're looking for n, so shift the entire thing over, right? Shift the entire thing over, so that's n minus 1. That would be less than, so you don't have to write, actually, you can press in your calculator, log 1 over 100 divided by log 1 over 2. Remember to bracket, yeah, when you press your calculator. Okay, so you will get the answer is, ah, okay, so uh, now before that, let's not skip it because, uh, um, right, I, I, I noticed something that students tend to always make mistake here, so uh, what I, I advise is this, yeah, press lock uh, 10, 1 over 800, uh, let's not do this first, just put divide, lock 10, 1 over 2, now, 
Now, something to note here, if you press in your calculator log 10 1 over 2, you notice that you will get a negative answer. Okay, anything that is less than 1, log 10 that is less than a 1, you will get a negative. So remember, when you get a negative and you shift over, this is a division, you know, this is a multiplication, and you shift over a negative, you have to inverse the sign. So do remember to do this. And this is what a lot of students forget. Yeah, because they just shift over, because they just press log 10 half. You, you don't see the value, but it is actually a negative. So do take note of this. Alright, do take note of this because if you make a mistake here with the inequality, then your answer n will be wrong. n minus 1 is bigger than, now you press your calculator and uh, you get a decimal of uh, 9.645. So, at the end, n would be bigger than 10.645. So, can you see that if you forget to change your inequality sign, you will get less than. So, then you will put 10, which is wrong, yeah? In this case, n n would be 11 because n is bigger than 10.645, right? So the next nearest integer to n would be 11. But if you forget to put the inequality sign here to change it, then your n will end up to be less than 10.645, which then you say n is 10, which is wrong, yeah? So the first term for this GP that, that become less than 1 over 100 would be the 11th term. Okay, so that's how you answer question on terms. Now, in the next video, we are going to do sum of GP, yeah, to find the sum of the first n term for GP. I will see you in the next video.